water? Did you marry Quantibo? Hey! Fuck face! <laughs> Shake your tail, you dirty fish! <laughs> It's 2019, yet we're arguing on the internet about whether or not Halle Berry should be cast as Ariel in The Little Mermaid. Not because of her acting skills, not because of her singing skills, but simply because of the color of her skin. But if you think about it, is it really that surprising? From the moment we're toddlers, we're subliminally taught that classic fairy tale heroes like Ariel, Peter Pan, Cinderella, and Robin Hood are all exclusively white. Which is why people are freaking out that a fantastical character like a mermaid isn't white. In a time when even emojis get an update with racial diversity, it's time we do the same with fairy tales. Disney introduces Prism. With the launch of Disney's first ever streaming platform, Disney Plus, we're going to roll out a feature that champions racial diversity. Just like the function of choosing emoji skin types, all you have to do is click the prism icon and choose your character. Unlike emojis, however, these aren't simply characters with different skin colors. Each character will feature different talents, personas, and even voiceovers to bring them to life. Flounder, don't be such a guppy. I'm going in. You can stay here and watch for sure. If only I could make him understand. Also, to really give children the ability to see themselves represented, we're going to give them the chance to actually see themselves in the story. Using augmented reality, children can have their faces scanned and turned into their very own fairy tale character. Just imagine what dreams and hopes that all children will reach for when they realize that anybody, including themselves, can be the hero of their own story. Well, if so, how do you sustain a business model in which users don't pay for your service? Senator, we run ads. Big companies use our big data to make big bucks. To keep this under check, Europe's General Data Protection Regulation, or GDPR, was passed on May 25, 2018, giving users more control over their data. For the first time, users can choose how their data is shared and used. Despite this new framework, we still give away our data blindly in exchange for free services. What if we could use this habit to fuel a greater cause? What if our data could help the millions of NGOs that need donations? Presenting Donate Your Data, an initiative by Google Chrome that helps you use your data for the actual good. All you have to do is go to your Google Chrome settings and agree to be a data donor. Chrome will remember your preference, and every time a big company uses your data to earn money, a portion of those earnings will be donated to an NGO of your choice. For example, donating your data to read this article about global warming will actually let you contribute to the cause. Chrome will also let you keep track of your donations, enabling you to redeem donation rewards in the form of complimentary Google Drive storage, access to YouTube music, and more. With Donate Your Data, we generate millions of donations, and more importantly, we make every click count. B fits in. We can have a lot of fun. I'm a man.
hour's time. I'm a man. I still am. Although there are organizations like Moms Demand Action in every town that fight against gun violence by rallying American citizens to vote for gun control, mass shootings don't seem to be slowing down. Voting has barriers to entry, elections only happen every so often, and people's attention spans drop over time along with their political activity. It's no wonder why people fight for change and then end up feeling hopeless. That is, until we witness another mass shooting. Or yet another school shooting. You've been killed in a classroom shooting. It's a vicious cycle. That's why we're going to expose this cycle. Introducing dayswithoutamassshooting.com a website that displays how many seconds, minutes, hours, and days go by in the United States without a mass shooting. It simply keeps ticking until another mass shooting happens, which resets the clock. In order to also contribute to the fight against gun violence, the site will feature different ways for people to get involved, locally and nationally, to hopefully help increase the amount of days in between mass shootings. A one-click button to call their congressional representatives accompanied with a script, dates for scheduled marches and rallies, and ways to follow and support candidates who support gun control through social media. As time continues to tick by on the site, it will not only represent the amount of days that have gone by without a mass shooting, but it will also give the nation a sense of progress and hope. that the bombers, particularly the older brother, Tamerlan Tsarnaev, were self-radicalized on the internet. Well, the two most recent mass shootings in the United States have sparked continuing debate about the ways in which people are being radicalized online. Replace us! Jews will not replace us! Jews will not replace us! Jews will not replace us! It's another one of those nights. You know the ones. Bunny slippers peeking out from a mountain of blankets. A veritable smorgasbord of Netflix at your disposal. Full queue of unwatched Netflix titles on an empty stomach. The fridge is empty. But you're not putting on pants to get food. That ship sailed hours ago. <sighs> Pulp Fiction. Nothing wrong with the classic. Mmm. Burger scene. Wait, oh man, that burger looks great. Drippy ketchup, supple bun. Damn, are those fries? What is that? Is that a message from Burger King at the bottom of the screen? One click whoppers? What is this magic? Grub titles from BK, the national language of the Burger Kingdom. Here's how it works. Connect the BK app to your Netflix subtitle menu. 
Whenever a burger shows up in any movie, TV show, or documentary on Netflix, a Grub title will instantly appear, prompting a Whopper delivery. One click later, and the good folks at BK will start prepping your order, updating you in real time via your subtitles. The only thing better than Netflix and chill is Netflix and Grill. Apple is known for innovative products that change the game of technology, creativity, and communication. Currently, Apple products support nearly 40 spoken languages and dialects. But what if your language isn't spoken? Introducing Hand Emojis. Using the same Animoji technology that tracks over 50 muscles in the face, this will track precise hand movement and orientation. Sign language uses both facial expressions and hand signs for proper communication. With Hand Emojis, users can effectively communicate in a fun, colorful, and personal way. Apple promotes a wide variety of user-friendly, innovative features. But out of 2.2 million iOS apps, very few are accessible by the deaf community. Hand Emojis aims to shorten that gap. It is inclusive innovation, recognizing the deaf community and their language, and allowing them to express themselves however they want. Because expression goes way beyond words. During summer, everything changes color. Clothes, days, and even skin. In Brazil, temperatures exceed 40 degrees Celsius, and the high levels of UV rays are dangerous to health. Segundo a Organização Mundial de Saúde, nos próximos 20 anos, 12% da população mundial vai desenvolver o câncer de pele. With this in mind, Havaianas, which is synonymous with Brazilian summer and Brazilian day-to-day -day life, is putting out a new collection. Havaianas presents Havaianas Sun Check, the flip-flops that indicate the right time to escape the sun. The new Havaianas will have UV ray meters. When a Havaiana sandal is exposed to radiation, it changes color from yellow to purple as ultraviolet radiation levels increase. But how does it work? This technology is based on a UV dosimeter, comprised of nanoparticles of titanium dioxide film. When it absorbs UV light, it releases an acid that generates photochemical reactions. Then, the dye present on the film for measuring the pH level reacts to this acid and changes color according to radiation exposure time. If Avayan has already protected your feet, now they'll protect your skin too. Admit it, I was faster. You were not. Whoa! Okay, it's right here. I win. Free free. We almost got caught. Stop crying. Okay, this is the best place to decide who wins. Last one, there's right there. Wait, what are the rules? We don't need rules. It's just a race. The line wins. Oh, should I give my life to you? And you died. Move! Get on! Or we just go together. Boring. We can't always go together. No, I just don't want us to get hurt. Seeing you going to fucking university, seeing you making all these new fucking mates, and I'm stuck in the same.
Josh? You were there. You were there. We don't have to make it a competition, all right? Don't be afraid. Don't worry about your surroundings. Don't worry about your hands or your body. Instead, when you play, you could think of something that's made a big impression upon you. Something that's really moved you. What would that be? I think of the ocean. Ah. You could think of the waves crashing into each other, then hitting the rocky shore. And when you think of the really small ones, crawling up the beach very quietly. These moments will color your music in the same way the music will color your memories. These are the key moments. And you could think of something that made you really sad. And in time, you might find that in that sadness, there can be good things. Something that makes you very happy. These memories will always be in your mind. No one can take them from you. And remember, forget about them. Don't play it for them. Only one person really needs to feel the music. And it's you, Ben. It's you.
we did just get the news that he was one of the 11 that were hit and killed last night. Owning a firearm in the United States is a fundamental right. Over 43% of the U.S. population owns at least one firearm to feel safe and protected. Despite the many laws in place regulating gun ownership, violent crimes continue to rise. That's because 79% of violent acts involve a stolen firearm. What's more alarming is that the shooters are taking guns from their friends and family members. Nest introduces Safe Sleeve. Combining Nest's existing smart home automation tech and motion sensor tech, the sleeve is securely mounted on the firearm. This is how it works. When touch is detected, it triggers a notification. If the owner doesn't respond in five minutes, law enforcement is automatically alerted. In the case that the owner doesn't authorize the touch, they can choose to notify law enforcement. Nest then shares GPS updates with law enforcement directly to help locate the firearm faster and stop the potential act of violence before it happens. The Nest Safe Sleeve is the first tangible step towards bringing an end to violent crimes involving stolen firearms. As people wait for their train, you see a lot of this, but not too many people reading these. By using the power of entertainment to deliver the truth, we tapped into something young people naturally connect to, music, and transform current events into urban art. Introducing the New York Rhymes a platform where local New York City street music artists will use their free-flowing, lyrically savvy silver tongue to rhyme the truth in a weekly highlight of the news in the style representative of their borough, straight onto your Spotify Daily Mix playlist, giving them exposure and keeping people informed. To promote the launch, we place scannable posters around New York City, Instagram stories where people can swipe up, play and register and even tap up subway artists to present commuters a live taste of a lyrical version of the day's hottest news. To wrap it up and truly test the truth, at the end of each week, we create debates in the shape of rap battles on all live platforms, sparking real-time conversation where both sides and viewers can take part in uncovering the real facts. Nothing sounds better than the truth. This is Jack. He's 17. He's got a phone in his hand and sex on his mind. But STIs are at an all-time high and he doesn't have protection. Well, he's not alone. Most people his age don't use condoms. Why? The answer is the same. Getting caught with condoms is a major turnoff. So how do we, Durex, the advocates of safe sex, ensure that Jack always has a condom on hand? We put a condom on the one thing he doesn't exist without, his phone. Introducing Durex Poppin' Pop Sockets. These are specially designed pop sockets that safely hide condoms in plain sight. The condoms are placed inside cartridges that can be quickly pulled out of the pop socket so that when Jack gets lucky, all he has to do is pop it and sock it. Pop-ins are packaged like regular pop sockets and are placed in the phone accessory aisle at department stores, ensuring an absolutely embarrassment-free checkout experience. Durex, keep it poppin'. To seek truth is to try and understand the world we live in. We used to absorb news and analyze the facts before forming our own opinions. Sadly, our approach to news has changed in response to a fast-paced, context-free media landscape where society is overwhelmed with information, making it hard to differentiate between facts and opinions. Today, news is absorbed through social media as analysis takes a back seat while people seek articles that echo and validate their opinions rather than expose themselves to different perspectives. To shine a light on the importance of independent, critical thinking, New York Times developed a new way for readers to interact with and think about news. Introducing Rome, the world's first news bandersnatch. By switching to Rome mode, readers will find prompts at the bottom of articles that drive them to seek truth by going on a journey through global news sources that either conform to or challenge their views. They can also look into the background to understand the events that led up to the current situation. 
By clicking on the articles, an algorithm will account for their preferences as it personalizes a journey through the news. When they decide to end their journey, an in-depth summary of their biases will be generated, highlighting how their choices reflect their inclinations. Readers can then post their favorite articles on their social media accounts, with an option of also posting their summaries. By clicking on the post, they'll be taken directly to the Rome Hub where they can start their journey. As Seekers of Truth, we want to guide people to embrace and embody critical thinking by changing the way they interact with news. Because whether it's politics, religious beliefs, or outlooks on life, people tend to pick a side and stick with it. Everyone has biases, and that can be okay, as long as we think critically and allow our minds to roam. Since 2016, Overwatch has had one of the highest rates of female engagement of any online FPS game. And that is something we were very proud of. Together, we conquered battlefields and destroyed entire armies. But then, something happened. Our female gamers began to face increased sexual harassment and sexism from male comrades. Let me have your Snapchat. Gorilla, can I have your Snapchat? Wait, what's your real name? Jesus time? Christ, thanks for the fucking gamer girl. As women began to report these toxic players, our moderators stepped up their game to process all reports as fast as possible. But we faced a hurdle all games deal with. Vocal harassment is very hard to verify. We didn't address this issue fast enough, and to our deep regret, we saw many female players quit Overwatch altogether. But don't worry, loves! In 2020, you better believe we're bringing back our female warriors with our new release of Overwatch 2. Overwatch 2 introduces Tag of Shame. When a player vocally harasses another player, our AI, a combination of voice recognition and gameplay monitoring, will detect the malicious words instantly. From that point onward, their profile pictures will change to mugshots with types of crimes they have committed to reveal their true identities. Additionally, the electronic anklets will be attached to the offenders' characters, which allow the opposing teams to monitor these toxic players literally everywhere at any time. From Hollywood to Nepal, with one solution, we discourage anyone from behaving like a dick on our platform and also create a safer environment for all the players. Cheers, love! The cavalry's here! To the eyes of the world, luxury looks like this. Yet to the eyes of American male politicians, luxury looks like this. A little bit of tax on a $7 box isn't a big deal, but by eliminating the tampon tax in California, they'll save $20 million for women each year. Not to mention that menstrual products are obviously not luxuries. Just ask China, Korea, Ireland, Canada, and Nigeria. That's why on October 19th, National Period Day, Tampax will take its 80-year-old brand and take more than just a stand. Introducing AMP. Tampax as you know it, but quite literally without the luxury tax. Our rebranded tampons will not only save women the extra tax, but the packaging itself is a tool to insight action. Like putting pressure on local politicians who are for the luxury tax, simply by handing out free boxes of AMP. Or empowering female activists and influencers on social. You know, all of those angry women who aren't afraid to speak their mind and even activating our headquarters. Because everyone's business card will look like this, making all of our passionate employees ambassadors of the campaign. Why are we willing to take a stand against the luxury tax out of our own pockets? Because it's a small price to pay to empower women on more than just on their time of the month, period. Climate change has been the decade's defining issue. As the world warms, extreme weather events are becoming more frequent and intense. But still, 41% of Americans don't see climate change as a serious threat. 
That's why we decided to show its impact in a place where we feel the safest, our homes. IKEA presents the Climate Change Collection. A furniture line designed to show the long-term effects of climate change. To tease our new range, we coded the IKEA page to show how our current products would hold up in extreme weather. We then launched the line through prints and outdoors. Social media and AR. Visitors were encouraged to sign up for a free home energy audit to lower their carbon footprint, a move that could lower emissions noticeably over time. We also made water globes that people could take home with all proceeds going to the Green Climate Fund. And then we did the unexpected. We opened the IKEA Climate Change Room, inviting climate skeptics and influencers to actually live in the bleak future for 24 hours straight. Their stay was broadcasted live for the world to see. The message was simple. When we change, the climate doesn't. A lot of uh, the people who are coming through the border are not coming uh, sort of in the middle. They're, they're going to actual checkpoints Good morning, and turning Good morning. themselves in. But that is leading are you to leaving already? Being overwhelmed I just made breakfast. The words the other day yeah. During his trip to California that we're they called us all in early today. And I think he's hoping that that message will stem of the number of people coming through, whether it's legal checkpoints or, or not. Oh, I mean, it's legal, of course, to I'm sorry. asylum, and, and that's part of the argument. Uh, and he said, he be careful out there. there. Just said Me too. We are full and finally, Jeff, we want to <laughs> asylum of people legally seeking asylum, which are allowed to when you have pushed on the political persecution and, and crime and this sort of thing, some of the conditions. <laughs> What are you doing? 